Hank, you're chasing a story in Lakewood, which has one of the largest Jewish communities in New Jersey. Some are saying there's a war on Hanukkah. It's menorah madness, Bill, in the last place you'd expect it to be, Lakewood, New Jersey, one of the largest enclaves of Jewish people in the Northeast. A few days ago, this small menorah standing behind me, which is right next to the township's Christmas tree, 30 feet tall, massive, it was removed on the threat of a lawsuit. Mayor Albert Ackerman explained. It was taken down because it was our understanding that if we don't take it down, then there's going to be a lawsuit, which we thought was backed by a local church, but we've come to understand that the church is not behind the person who got up at our township committee meeting and told us that, that we need to take down the menorah. I don't think they're coming on, to be honest with you. This particular menorah behind me, Bill, belongs to Lakewood shopkeeper Harold Herskowitz. Uh, he put it up here after the town's menorah was removed, and this one was taken down a couple of nights ago by township workers and left at his toy store. Some of it was broken. Well, let me ask you this. How do you know that they're not going to take your menorah down? They did. They took it down the other day. They broke it. They broke it when they took it apart? Yeah, well, it's not working. Now, the underlying question, Bill, why was it removed? A lawsuit wouldn't likely have gone far, actually, since the Supreme Court uh, has upheld religious displays like, like menorahs, um, Christmas trees, and the Supreme Court's upheld religious displays on public grounds. And the State League of Municipalities actually has a policy on these things, Bill. That's why you can find menorahs next to Christmas trees, next to Kwanzaa trees, in pretty much any township in New Jersey. As I said, I sat with Lakewood Mayor Albert Ackerman, uh, who says that essentially a quick decision was made, uh, and that it maybe wasn't the best one. We have to make decisions very quickly. And sometimes people are upset at our decisions, but we're human. And when you have to make a decision spur of the moment, anyone could make a mistake. But another thing people have to understand that it wasn't it wasn't one person. It was a person who was holding a letter from, from a church. Now, he also adds that most of the ire that he's gotten for the menorah's removal has actually come from the non-Jewish community. That's where I'm coming to find that all the, all the tolerant people have, have no, no tolerance for intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that, right? He's talked. Uh, with the pastor of uh, Calvary Lighthouse Church, who says there was a misunderstanding. Uh, the lawsuit may come, but there's no real fear of it, since, as one lawyer I spoke to said, uh, any judge worth his salt is going to throw this out right on his face. There's a lot of legal precedent. Did the lawsuit and the threat of lawsuit come before just talking with the mayor? Why just jump the gun like that? You know what? We should be adults and be able to figure it out, but you can't prioritize one religion over another religion. The New Jersey League of Municipalities that, actually came out with guidelines for the holiday season. They said be inclusive. Jersey City had a holiday display in 1999 that was deemed unconstitutional because it wasn't inclusive enough. Here are the guidelines. You want to have a Christmas tree, a menorah, you want to have a Kwanzaa symbols, uh, Santa Claus and Frosty the Snowman. For that matter, why don't we just put a Festivus poll up as well? We're missing the Festivus poll. There's a war on Festivus, Hank. It's very richly ironic in this thing that turnabout is not fair play and that the Christians who have frequently complained when Christmas trees and nativity scenes have been taken down were the first to complain about a menorah. According to Mayor Ackerman, who's an Orthodox Jew, uh, Hanukkah is of differing importance to different Jewish families. Many of them don't really care that there's a menorah up here in the town square as long as there's one up in the home.